Hello everybody, I'm doing another day of fraction review today. Now we're going to look at fractions on a number line. And I remember being confused when I was a kid because my teachers would tell me to figure out the pieces, you just count them up. And when they would say count them up, I didn't know what them meant. So when we first did this with the kids, I told them let's count them up and we counted up the little slashes because that looks like them, I don't know what them is. So we go one, two, three, four, five. And we looked at that and we said, okay, well if that's five, then each piece should be one-fifth. And this already says one-fourth is our first piece, so counting them up didn't help me. I told them what would have helped me as a kid is if my teachers had told me to count up the spaces or count up the jumps. So what we did was we made jumps. And then we just count how many jumps there are. So, and I always always put my finger right at the peak so I know I'm counting the jump. One, two, three, four. So I have four jumps. This thing is cut into fourths. So we have one fourth, we have two fourths, or one half, and we start dropping those in just to make sure that we start talking about equivalent fractions. Three fourths and one hole, and we also write down next to one hole, so we start getting the habit of this, of knowing that one hole is the same thing as eating all four-fourths of whatever you're eating, so we write that four-fourths. We want to get them in the habit of, of understanding that four-fourths and one hole are the same. So let's look at the next one, let's use our counting the jumps method again. So let's make our jumps, one jump, two jump, I make three jumps, this thing is cut into thirds, so we're going zero, one-third, two-thirds, and this is one hole, and we say one hole is the same as three-thirds. If our numerator and our denominator are the same, it's one hole. We ate the entire thing. Let's make sure our jumps work on this next one. One, two, three, four, five, six jumps. And they have four six there, so let's see if it works. It's six jumps, so it should be sixths, one sixths, two sixths, and then I talk to some of the kids that maybe have some good fraction sense, and they realize, okay, that's the same thing as one third, three sixths, or we talk about that's one half, four sixths. Some kids are good enough to say that this is two thirds, and if they're not, we'll get them there. Five sixths. And then six six is the whole thing. So we're seeing the jumps work. The problem is we throw a curveball at you now. And the curveball is down below here. So let's look at number 13 here. On number 13, let's count the jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's six jumps, so it must be one six. One six, one whole. One and a half, what, two, that doesn't make any sense at all. So we stop there and we go, well, what's the difference between this problem and the problems we've done? And the kids notice, well, this is a three down here. Up here, that was a one. That was a one. That was a one. We were counting from zero to one on all those problems. Well, let's do that down below. Let's find what one is first, and we'll apply that rule to the entire number line. So here's one. I always tell them, find the one. Find the one hole. If we can find the one hole, then we can start identifying the parts. And this one hole is broken into two parts. It's broken in half. Let's see if that works now. Zero, one half, one. One and a half, two, two and a half, three. So by identifying just this part, we could use this part to figure out the rest. So let's look down below here. Now we've got to make sure we're watching. That's a zero. That's a two. Well, that doesn't work. So we've got to find where the one is. Well, if that's zero to two, then one should be halfway in between. So our one should be right here. So that's what we want to figure out. Let's figure out how many pieces just this is broken into. One, two, three, four, 
five. It's broken into five pieces. Let's see if this works out. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and yep, five fifths is one whole. Now we have one and one fifth, and we start talking about that's what we call a mixed number. It's a whole number and a fraction put together. So I didn't just eat one whole pizza. I ate one whole pizza, and I ate a piece off of somebody else's pizza, too. So I ate a lot that day. Now I've got one and two-fifths, one and three-fifths, one and four-fifths, and then one and five-fifths is the same thing as two, and that's where we're at. One and five-fifths is two. So that is the little strategy we use when we're using a number line to identify fractions. Use our jumps and count the, ju the jumps. Don't count them, count the jumps. And then identify where the one is. We want to figure out what is one hole broken into. And then we can use that to figure out the rest of the number line.